What's up, nerds? Back with another video. In this video, it's the end of the world, apparently, and I didn't know what I was going to talk about today. I had some stuff written down that I wanted to talk about, but instead, we've got some good old-fashioned is Joe Biden dead conspiracies? Yeah, don't we just love that? Don't we love it when we can't tell if our president's alive or not? I think that's just great. And I think it's even better when we get just just great. Just I mean, don't you love how Joe Biden has COVID and can't do his stuff, can't speak. But then when it comes time for, oh, don't worry. Hey, hey, all you guys out there thinking that Joe Biden's dead, you guys are disrespectful. And how dare you think that 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 our president might, you know, be deceased right now? In fact, because you people are so disrespectful, here we have Joe Biden ready to make a phone call uh, to fucking say, like, he's OK. And we've got Joe Biden, who is got COVID and is too sick to talk and speak at these events. But when we fucking hear him on the phone, he's like, oh, I've never felt better in my life. Everybody should go support this person. The clearest voice he's had in months. No raspiness, no anything. I mean, <laughs> this is the same fucking government. That's like, oh, you got to watch out for those deep fakes. You can't trust what you see online because those deep fakes, you know, they'll get you. And you can't trust Twitter because Twitter all those other media sites, you know, yet they don't have the fact checking people that we have and you can't trust them. And and but by here, hey, this this perf this little magical Joe Biden in a box, you can trust that like your life depends on it <laughs> because it does. But we won't tell you that. But I mean, holy shit. The fact the fact that we have uh, sitting congressmen. Sitting senators in our government calling calling for our president to show proof that he's alive. That's what we're that's the point that we're at in 2024. People are going to look back at this time and they're going to look back at this and say, wow, it we we used to live in a time where we genuinely didn't know if our president was alive or not. We genuinely didn't know. You know, and we, we, there were times where we weren't able to just be able, like, I, I imagine in the future that, at least for Republican presidents or something, and especially with Trump, I mean, imagine if this was Trump. Trump would have just fucking put out a Twitter video or a fucking truth, truth or val validity or whatever the fuck they call those things. But we know that's the president Trump is. Trump would have been on Twitter in 30 seconds on his own Twitter, making his own unhinged, obviously posted by Donald Trump tweets. But what do we have instead? We have some fucking random staffer with some random chick on stage just be like, oh, trust us, we got Biden in a box. And then the flip side of that, which I love, is so let's just say hypothetically whatever is going on with Biden, we'll just leave that alone, right? On the flip side, you've got these same people think that Biden has a body double who think that Biden's got a, a face person, a whatever. He's, maybe there's just a separate Biden. There's an actor playing Biden, whatever the situation is. But there are but these same people do believe or at least give moderate credit to those ideas. So it's like, OK, <laughs> let's say he was dead, right? Why don't they just trot out Biden number two and just be like, hey, here we go. We got this. You know, we got this guy coming up, you know, and it's uh, it's very interesting because the conspiracy, quote unquote, conspiracy was that Biden was going to be replaced uh, around this time next month uh, at the DNC with all the superdelegates and all this other crap, right? And the prevailing conspiracy theory was that it was going to be Michelle Obama, Gavin Newsom, maybe Obama vice president, like Obama, Obama vice president, male Obama vice president, or I mean, Barack Obama, I can't say male because, you know, somebody with some of those uh, Michellers out there. But these... Uh, <laughs> so that's just we're just gonna stop there i've talked enough about this shit number two 
<laughs> second second fun story for today to talk about all this Mr. Beast and Dr. Disrespect stuff because holy shit I mean this was kind of what everyone said was going to happen this was kind of what everyone was going to say what happened, was that Dr. Disrespect was just the first of many and that there was going to be a reckoning with all this kind of stuff as far as, you know, uh, children, inappropriate things. And Dr. Disrespect was, you know, like the, 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 the water test, kind of, the litmus test, kind of. You know, like, okay, we've got this guy, everybody knows him, you know, but we'll see. And it, it might not have been the worst thing, but, you know, we'll see what, what happens when we drop stuff like this. And look what happened. The fucking world exploded. Dr. Disrespect was the front page of Twitter for three days straight. Everybody fighting back and forth about not uh, guilty until proven innocent, uh, the age, does age matter, or as long as it's a minor, who cares, because the person in Dr. Disrespect's case was 17, and, you know, oh, well, it doesn't matter what age, because it's all the same action, all this bullshit that Dr. Disrespect's getting, right? And then what fucking happens two weeks later? We have Mr. Beast's co-founder, Chris Tyson co-founded the Mr. Beast channel, a co-fucking founder of the largest English-speaking YouTube channel on the fucking platform, one of the largest channels on the platform, period, and Honestly, Mr. Beast does so many translation videos where who knows if that's even valid because he's got everything in 16 fucking languages, so he's probably just the killing it on everything. And so Dr. Disrespect was arguably the largest streamer on YouTube. Maybe not personality-wise. I think if a buy, e -buy, uh the, you know, a Brazilian guy, uh, I think he might have been... Uh, on YouTube a little bit. Uh, there's other, like, uh, Latin streamers. Well, Ebi's Latin, but he... I, I'm not trying to limit this to English stuff, but, you know, just for the sake of me being American, this being an American video, that's kind of where I want to tr try to keep, keep the guardrails. So, Dr. Disrespect, as far as, like, English, regular, everyday people streaming, Tim the Tatman, Valkyrie, Ludwig... Uh, uh, this, uh, Dr. Lupo, Tim the Tatman, Doc, uh, Nick Merckx, all these, uh, like, various, uh, all the, v the VTuber YouTubes, all this stuff, Dr. Disrespect had the most watch time, had the most views, he might not have been the biggest streamer in the world, however, on YouTube, he was the biggest streamer, right? So we've got the biggest streamer, what happened with him, and now we've got the biggest YouTuber, the biggest creator, and I mean, and we're talking about when you talk about scaling, streamers are big, right? But the scale, the diff I mean, Dr. Disrespect doesn't have a fucking Verizon fucking sponsorship. Like, you know, Dr. Disrespect doesn't have a fucking Hyundai partnership deal. I mean, when you're talking about the scale of Mr. Beast, I mean, it, it's it, it's hard to fathom. And so you'd think that, ah. Uh, Obviously, if the co-founder of the Mr. Beast channel came out and it turned out he was messaging minors and having inappropriate conversations with minors, you think that that would be a big fucking deal considering how Dr. Disrespect was a big fucking deal for three fucking days? Nope. Nobody gives a shit. Nobody cares. The only fucking people that talk about it are the weirdos like me that defended Dr. Disrespect that said, hey, maybe we should look at this with a little bit more nuance and maybe we shouldn't just start throwing around the pedophile word like this and maybe we shouldn't just fucking just blow up the universe because maybe there just might be, there just might be people worse than him that message people younger than 17 fucking years old when the legal age is 18. In some states in the United States, 16, 17, well, I'm sorry, I said 16 early, 17 is 
over the legal age of 16 is over the legal age of 15. I mean, Jesus Christ, what are we talking about? Doc messages someone who's fucking turning 18 in fucking six months, and all of a sudden he's the devil when you've got these fucking online whores selling out all of their OnlyFans on tw on Twitch to fucking 13-year-olds. But no one gives a fuck about that pedophilia. No one gives a fuck about that grooming. No one gives a fuck about the, the repercussions of that. But oh my God, so, turns out someone messaged someone 17 who may or may not have been trying to get them in the act, who may or may not have been working for Twitch, who may or may not have had all of this you know, personal political context behind it. Obviously, that person's a pedophile. But this other person who's directly messaging someone 13, barely a teenager, barely a fucking teenager. And this person's making inappropriate jokes. Oh, but dudes make inappropriate jokes about their dicks all the time. Dudes just talk about dicks all the time. All dudes are gay. We're just doing gay dude stuff. It's not like I'm a pedo. It's not like any of that. You know, it's like, I, no, 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 no. Like, I'll tell you an example from my life example. Perfectly. We have a Discord with a bunch of dudes that fuck around, make edgy jokes, all this bullshit, right? We had someone join who seemed like they were, I think they said they were 17 or 18. They didn't even say that they were 13. They said they were 17, 18. And we kicked them out of the Discord because they were not old enough to joke with us and were not old enough to be in our community, right? Like, that is what people do. You do not make, continue to make jokes with them. You say, nah, bro, you too fucking young. Come back in a fuck, couple fucking years. That's what you are supposed to do. You do not continue to make the jokes and be like, ah, oh, well, he's a dude. He gets it. He'll fucking talk about sucking each other's cocks. Who cares? Like, do we, me and my friend group, as 24 to 31 year old men make jokes about sucking each other and doing gay shit? Yes. But a 24 year old consenting to make those jokes is different than a 13 year old, period. And then Dr. Disrespect on top of all this, we got no receipts whatsoever from any of these Dr. Disrespect fucking people. None of them. The only one that has any receipts is this trans person who, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize, uh, you know, it, it's it's funny how in Dr. Disrespect's case, it's like, oh, this like trans sex where, uh, blah, blah, you, and look at all these sick messages and everything. Bro, you never, uh, you can't sit here, you the viewer, right? I mean, hey, if you have never watched any porn in your life, Click the fuck off. You got the gold pass to tell me to go fuck myself. All good. But if you have seen even a, a drop of porn, right, and know the context and the different, you know, uh, uh, the stuff that comes associated with porn and all those different things, right, you can't fucking sit there and pretend like you haven't watched some weird shit. You haven't ended up on some weird shit. That if someone fucking caught you on, you'd be like, all right, I need to get out of this fucking hole. Whether that's whatever race people, whatever weight people, whatever sex people, wh whatever toys, wh whatever. I mean, I'll be honest, I'll, g I'll give you a little too much information with my weird one. I ended up with some chick, some chick fucking herself with a T-Rex dick. A fucking T-Rex dick that's like fucking f th three of my arms put together. And she's fucking going on like this. She's fucking grabbing it and fucking going pounding in like this. I mean, I fucking ended up on some weird shit, bro. Do I have to now explain myself to everybody on the planet? What clicks ended me up into this? What mental state I was in where I was just, I want to see some chick fuck herself with a dinosaur cock for 30 minutes? Like, it, does that make me a fucking sexual predator? No, I'm just fucking, I'm, we I'm weird. I'm a fucking weird guy. Like everybody fucking else, we all fucking watch porn. Anybody who watches porn's got a fucking weird side in them somewhere. And they fucking end up in porn, weird porn somewhere. I mean, like, and so that's the limit of Dr. Disrespect's uh, actual messages is texting some oh, oh doc the straight white guy messages a trans chick oh like wow he must be not the like I don't I really don't care I really don't care I've done so much weird shit too that 
obviously is not indicative of myself. Obviously. Now, we'll talk about the third topic of today, I guess, which is where we're going. And this election year, where, where the fuck America's going, right? Because as you can see, I'm proud repping the America outfit today for the first episode. And I, I think that a lot of the, uh, you know, it, it's on us. There, there was an experiment done uh, back in the 50s. You know the name in the comments. Feel free to enlighten me. And it was essentially you couldn't see someone on the other side of the wall. You could hear them, you could talk to them, whatever. You had the scientist right next to you, and the scientist was telling you to turn up this knob, and the knob would cause the other person on the other side of the wall to make groans or pains. And it was essentially to see how far these people could be pushed before they said, fuck you, I'm not doing this. It's like, you're literally making me spin this knob that's making this other person on the other side of the wall scream and cry in pain. And this is not even on the highest level. This was at the medium level. You can hear them groaning and screaming. And then it got all the way to 10 where it was extreme. And you had this scientist with you telling you, oh, no, it's OK. Just do the next thing. I I don't hear that person screaming. You're fucking crazy. What are you talking about? Spin the fucking knob, idiot. And you're just supposed to sit there and just be like, yeah, sure, whatever. And that experiment found in its results, again, hey, commenters, feel free to get all fucking, you know, feel free to go off on me, right? But my personal, you know, interpretation from this experiment is that there are a certain percentage of people willing to just do whatever the fuck they're told they don't care if the other person on the other side of the wall is screaming for their life fucking stop it you're killing me over here bro stop fucking spinning the wheel they're gonna fucking listen to the scientist right fucking next to them that's saying ah oh, you're good that dude he's <laughs> he's crazy he's crazy we don't know he's he's over there he's he's just he's just a silly guy he's he just loves to fuck with people don't he's just joking with you don't worry about it crank it and then there's the people that say, nah, I can't do this. I don't know what's going on, but I ain't participating in this shit. And then there's the smaller minority of people, which will say, I got to go check out what the fuck's going on. I'm not listening to you like we need to do something right fucking now because I am not leaving until I figure out what the fuck's wrong with that other person. And I really do believe that ever since we've known about this and known about these fundamental core, uh, you know, principles of human beings, because that's what this is to me. This is a when you are presented a situation with another human's being another human being's life in your hands, one of the most uh, precious things that you could, you know, one of the most powerful, precious, uh, insane situations to be in. Right. What would you do? And we found out what happened with these people. And so now the government's like, oh, shit. Well, hey, if we just, you know, fucking take over the planet, we're only going to have to worry about this fucking 30 percent of people that give a shit. Everybody else is either going to not participate or go along with it. So the conspiracy people out there, the silent, not silent majority, because the silent majority uh, tends to, uh, you know, not. You know, they tend to be the not involver kind of guys. The, you know, vocal aspect of these people, they they need to fight hard, real fucking hard. And I believe I'm one of them. And that's why I'm fighting real fucking hard. That's why I make YouTube videos that no one watches. That's why I live my life and do things the way I do, because my dad, uh, I love him, love him to death. And uh, I think it's probably an age thing Pat, for him. He doesn't think I should fight anymore, uh, you know, and that's maybe he'll, he'll paraphrase it a little bit better. Maybe he'll, you know, give me a little, uh, you know, I'm going to talk to him about it, obviously, and see, you know, what his uh, thoughts are if he's changed them. But last time we him and I spoke, he's just like, man, why do you do this to yourself? Why do you stress yourself out? Why don't you just, you know, fucking go along with it? Just do, you know, do the easy shit. Let someone else let someone else handle that. Let's it's someone else's problem. But for me, I just can't keep turning the dial. I, I just can't keep putting pain on other people and uh, doing this and, or just know about these and just 
fucking sit back and just say fine and just let it go i'm I, as long as i can you know go into work and do my eight and, and nine to five and come back home and shit and you know wake up and not die and you know do it again and then at the end if some fucking corporation gives me a nice engraved pen with my name on it throw that pen in my casket because that's all i need when you put me in the ground like i mean there are some people that are like that there are some people that just don't give a fuck and they just whatever material possessions whatever it is they're good for it I, that's not me that ain't me and that's why i had to make this video to talk about just a couple things that were just bugging the shit out of me in the future we'll have more uh topics more explicit topics to talk about uh, i just kind of wanted to crank this out because holy shit waking up and seeing this biden death shit waking up and seeing all this mr b shit i had all this shit i was gonna talk about before i'm like man fuck all that <laughs> that's what today's video is anyway Smoke grass, eat ass, be excellent to each other, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Deuces.